Hey, how's everybody doing today? Thank you for joining me for my new episode of the Tool Tuesday segment. Today, as you can see, I bring you the Power Probe PP ECT 3000. This is the newer version of the 2000, which uh, apparently improved on the aerodynamics of the tool. Uh, it used to be just a box, and now they are fancier looking. I want to uh, try to figure out how to use this thing to uh, find short and open uh, circuits, and uh, thought I would get this to help me along. Uh, from what I understand, people are uh, uh, saving tons and tons of time to uh, find a short or open wire um, in their vehicles uh, by using this. I mean, people are saying instead of it taking 24 hours, uh, they find the uh, short in 15 minutes. And I'm hoping that it will do that for me. Uh, as you may already know, I have a, a SL600 Mercedes. V-Tweezy uh, with some um, electrical issues. I don't know if there's any shorts or, or what, but I just thought I would get this tool because I feel like it is invaluable. It's a nice thing to just have on your bench ready to go. If I don't use it, I don't use it. I hope, I, I, I hope that I'll never have uh, an electrical problem in the car, but real world experience dictates that that's most likely not possible. So, I got this bad boy from a seller on Amazon. Uh, you can get the B version. I think it's a B version at the end of the 3000. There's a B that just comes with the tool itself. If you don't get the B, which probably stands for basic, uh, if you get the full package, you get the full kit, which I will do the unboxing for you right now and show you exactly what it comes with. The person selling this kit, instead of for 85 bucks for the basic kit, I got this bad boy, the full kit, for 106, which is a fantastic deal. 106. Um, Amazon is charging, I'm looking it up right now, 120. 120 for this and plus tax. You get the prime shipping. This came with free shipping, but not prime. 106 versus 120 and um, two extra dollars and some cents in tax. So all in all, you'd be paying by going through Amazon without clicking on the other sellers uh, thing that I did. I will try to leave a description for this. Uh, at 106 uh, below, uh, at 106 directly, so you can get directly to the seller, uh, who is uh, who did a great job. Uh, it said that it was going to take longer to ship. The guy shipped it out the same day with like a next day delivery to to me in Illinois. It came from Indiana, so I don't know if it's going to take longer to get to you, but the guy sent it out instantly. Um, and it arrived like uh, FedEx screwed me actually as usual FedEx is usually the company that screws people I find USPS and UPS are doing pretty well whereas FedEx has its issues uh, that might just be me maybe everyone else has a different uh, experience I'm just telling you about what happened to me uh, it delayed it by a day by a day or two I don't remember but they said weather conditions and uh, come on come on Everybody else is delivering, but you got weather conditions. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, anyway, 106 plus tax, great deal for a, a seemingly great product. Uh, the other products of this uh, type on the market seem to suck based on uh, uh, reviews and such and opinions. of people who know what they're doing, which, as you know, is not me. Uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and show you what this bad boy comes with. Uh, nice, huh? Get a little booklet. Little booklet, which tells you a little, uh, little bit about it. In English, in case you're curious. It is a American company. 
I don't know where these uh, things are made in. Does it say? The company itself is in California, but where is the product made? Um, these days, I guess it doesn't really matter. So, comes with the transmitter, which I guess you can hang on something. This does not move. I thought it might move around. It doesn't move. So I guess you hang that on something. You get this uh, nice long wire. It's probably a 20 to 23 footer. If I had to guess, I don't really know. Uh, with a with a plug. Oh, and a dedicated uh, ground, I guess. I guess it's supposed to be a dedicated ground attachment. Yeah, yeah. It's got the... In this package here, let me... Bust it open. As you know, I'm leaving stuff to open so you guys are experiencing it with me. It does come with some Duracell batteries, which is nice that they didn't give you some Chinese crap. Uh, the extra super heavy duty, even though what's interesting is these are uh, also made in China. So that's... Uh, Fabrique and China, which is interesting. I thought they were Japanese, but what are you gonna do? Um, so, without too much digression, you get a nice little plug here, which you cannot uh, stick the wrong way. It only goes one way, if it goes at all. Okay, there you have that, and you got your battery clamps, pretty self-explanatory, uh, nice, nice uh, spring in there, it's uh, pretty thick, pretty thick and nice, I like it, seems like it's uh, quality, and you get a nice shielded insulated alligator clip with this connection here. That goes into your negative lead here. Ugh, there it goes. That's in. And now you have your dedicated um, uh, ground alligator clip. Okay. Uh, also comes with another connection that goes to a... I guess you can stick that in somewhere. Uh, to probe some, some uh, place wherever it needs to be probed, I guess. Um, we'll figure that out in the user manual or nope. The, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here, let me show you the page for your records. And this is a triple O seven, which are alligator clip adapter and wire adapter. Okay. So it's a wire adapter. Well, I could have told you that, but where do you stick this? If you guys want to leave that in the comments below so I don't have to uh, figure it out on my own, that would be fantastic. What do you use this wire for? Uh, now, you have a... Whoops. You have a back probing wire, I believe. Let me check that out. Uh, zero, zero, three. Piercing probe, sorry. Uh, hmm. Hmm. You guys want to hear something interesting? Something interesting. Why in, is uh, this picture displaying two things and I only got the one? Show me in this kit where I have another piercing probe. Not here. Something that I notice off the top. You guys hear that? That, to me, sounds like garbage. If this was made in Japan, 
it would not do that. I hope my product is not defective and this is just normally how their products are crappily made. I know this is a quality product, which makes me, well, as far as it works. This, I gotta tell you, I have a problem with. I hope it works. I, I haven't tested it, obviously, but uh, this, you screw and that little piece goes down and inside there's a needle. I don't know if I can show it to you. No, I guess not. I don't know if this little thing is removable or if it's just a safety thing or what, but there is a needle in there. I don't know if you could see it. Yep, there it is. You see it twisting and going down there? It just went down. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it or not. There it is. See? There's the needle. Okay. So that's that. And this is extremely hard. To get into this case i don't know if i'm doing it wrong but i've had cases before that's hard to get in i don't know so far uh, this one doesn't have anything shaking in it so that's nice and it goes into there it's not secure which is probably why it easily goes in this guy i guess that's fairly easy to get in and out as well moving on we have a uh, blade pro probe blade probe and a back probe. I was gonna buy this kit separately, but then I realized, which was like almost 20 bucks, like $17 or something, just for these two little things. And then I realized it comes as part of this package, which uh, I was happy about. Those go in fairly easily. This is really strange. It's like, that thing is not coming out. I mean, you really got to work at that. And you get light bulb adapters because apparently all the all the problems arise from your uh, light bulbs. So I'm guessing, uh, I can tell you right now, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem because right there is a connection. And you don't have enough of a material here to pull it out from there. Unless I stuck it in too far. But I mean, you got to get these things to... Oh, look at that. They spin. Huh. Okay. Um, you got to get those things in. I guess I don't have to go in all the way because that's secure. So I guess this is a pro tip right here. Don't insert this thing, this wire, the alligator clip, all the way so you have a piece of metal to pull it out from. This is not focusing, but I hope you get the, the point. So you have this little piece of metal. That's where the metal ends, right there. Don't stick it in all the way so you can grip the metal instead of the wire to pull it from. Because I assume if you use this tool enough, that will rip. So pull by the metal and you should not have any problems. Now, apparently these are the light bulb sockets. Stick it in, trace the signal. Um, there are three of them. Three of them, but park, tail, stop, turn. That's interesting. You see it says it on there. Hmm. 
This one says nothing. Okay. This one has uh, the two um, terminals on the bottom. And this one has a completely different connector, which stop turn, tail park. If you can see that. Stop turn, tail park. Okay. So you got that type of connection. You've got this type of connection. And you've got this basic one. I'm not sure what the basic one is for at the moment. Um, leave that in the comments for me below. I'm going to do some research, obviously, on this. And I don't know how to use this thing at all. Uh, but uh, leave that in the comments below. If you guys uh, have this or the previous version, um, how do these work? If you can, you know, without going into too much trouble or detail, I don't want to waste your time. But at the same time, if you uh, have a couple of minutes to explain this to me, that would be fantastic. These connections, it's, it's a hard molded case. Uh, they're hard to get out. If there was something they could do to make these easier to go in and out, that would be fantastic. Without them being loose, obviously. But look, these are a little bit loose. But they're not coming out. They're in there. But I can easily just pull this guy out. It's easy. It's I don't have to break my hand to do it. Whereas this guy, it's like, ugh. Ugh. Well, that time it came out easier. Maybe the case is going to get uh, worn out from use. And it's going to be easier to do. But come on. Come on. That's ridiculous. I did Anyway, yeah, okay, I suppose we should take a look at how to get the batteries into this and uh, we'll be all set. Let's see uh, how they go in. Okay. Fairly simple. I'm going to spring on this side that pushes it down. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. I guess it's good. There's a light. I wonder if the old one had a light. Hmm. Sounds high. So the one button here is power on off and sense high. This button is sense lock and sense low. Okay, this one makes it go up, and if you want to turn it off, I assume you hold it. And there you have it. It's got a light, it's got an audible uh, speaker there. Hey! The shaking is gone! Okay, I retract my previous statement.
at least for that one thing, this is good. This is good. I thought maybe the part of the speaker thing was uh, shaking, but now it's solid with the batteries in. So, at the very least, that part is okay. So, there you guys have it. For 106 bucks, I think this thing is uh, well worth it. Or is that alligator clip? Might as well connect it. Or, yeah, you know what? You know what? If I keep it connected, that might uh, make uh, uh, these things uh, go down in time. So I better not. I better not. That actually, um, you don't want to ruin that by having it connected all the time. And that's probably why it's not connected out of the box. I don't know. Regardless, there you have it. There's the full kit and caboodle. Uh, and for $106, for $106, I'm going to go ahead and say that that is the best value that I've been able to find on a brand new ECT-3000. And another thing I'm going to mention is the 2000, which is older, costs more than this. So go figure in any case. No pun intended. Thank you for joining me on this uh, Tool Tuesday with the PowerPro BCT3000. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.